हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग लैब इन दिस लैब वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड आर सेवन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड आर नेक्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हिच इज एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर एट इज पावर मेजरमेंट ऑफ अ थ्री फेज बैलेंस सर्किट यूजिंग टू वॉट मीटर मैथड सो फॉर एफिशियंट कंडक्ट ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग एंड द कनेक्शन डायग्राम ऑफ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट which will be used in this experiment which is your watt meter you are already familiar with two other measuring devices which are very common which are your ammeter and your voltmeter because we have been using them in our last seven experiments regular so this is the diagrammatic representation of your watt meter it comprises of two coils which is your current coil and your pressure coil all right and your four terminals which are m l c and v M here stands for your mains, C stands for your common, L is for load, and V stands for now voltage. See how these terminals actually look on the watt meter. Okay, so let us first consider our M terminal, which is our mains terminal, which is here. Second one is your L terminal, which is here, and third is your common terminal, which is represented represented here. in red color all right but as far as v terminal is considered we have three options here on the top of your watt meter which are 150 300 and 600 volts meaning that the manufacturer has provided us with three options here for connection of v terminals and we can choose any one of these according to the requirement of our experiment so you can check it out here these are our voltage options available depending upon the demand of our experiment if we are working in a range of 0 to 150 volts we will be choosing a first terminal and for higher voltage ratings we will be using 300 or 600 subsequently so what this watt meter actually does it it utilizes the readings of your voltage and current to calculate the total power all right so i have told already told you about the voltage options we have here in this watt meter one more thing to note here is that it can operate or we can say we have two options for current ratings also depending upon the requirement of our circuit or requirement of our load which is it can operate for a range of 5 amperes and it can also operate for a range of 10 amperes now the question arises how to select the current range because selection of voltage range was quite easier whichever voltage range we require we'll just connect the terminal v we'll consider the terminal v as that voltage terminal current range can be decided with the help of these four terminals which are your b1 b2 and e1 and if you feed this watt meter you will see the back side of this watt meter and you will get to know as to how to join these terminals which are your b1 and b2 or you can say e1 and e2 to get the desired current rating so in order to order to work in 5 ampere rating we simply have to join the b1 and b2 terminals meaning that these two terminals have to be joined and as far as the 10 ampere range is considered what we are going to do is you need to join b1 with e2 and e1 with b2 all right so which has already been done here you can watch here closely b1 has been connected with e2 and e1 has been connected with b2 as mentioned by the manufacturer One important point which is worth remembering while using your watt meter is along with the reading pointed out by the pointer you also need to multiply that reading with a multiplying factor of this multimeter because we have various options of your voltage and 
current rating so therefore we need to calibrate this watt meter according to the requirement of our multiplying circuit. factor for every combination is already present here you can check here for example if you are using 150 volt range and you are also operating it at 5 ampere range then you will use the multiplying factor of 1 similarly if you are using it for 300 volts and 5 amperes you will use 2 as your multiplying factor all right so if somehow your multiplying factor is not given at the back end of your watt meter i'll also show you later on in this video how to calculate that multiplying factor manually so let us now see as to how to actually connect a watt meter onto the circuit to measure the power consumed by the load so let us take a small representation of what we are going to do this here is our watt meter on this side you can see supply which has been connected to m and v and this side you see a load which has been connected to l and v so for load i am using these lamp loads as you can see here and this is my watt meter and this here is my variable supply and i'll be using a multimeter for measurement of voltage as to how much voltage i am giving so as we have discussed earlier your terminal m and terminal c have to be externally connected so they have been shorted here this is m and this is your c which has been shorted with the help of a wire let's now see as to how we have connected our watt meter to measure the power okay so in the connection diagram you can see the supply one end of supply is going towards the m terminal of watt meter so let us check whether we have connected the one end to the m terminal of watt meter yes it has been connected which is here this is your m terminal and your one end of the supply has been connected to m now let us check where is the another end of our supply going this is going to v terminal of our watt meter let us check whether so this will be your another terminal which has been connected to v and as far as your load side is concerned one end of the load is going to l terminal of what your watt meter all right so let us check whether it is going to l terminal or not so this is your l terminal and it is going to one end of your load fine and another end of your load is connected to terminal v which is at the top of your watt okay, so for demonstration purpose i have taken three light bulbs here of uh, 100 watts each and have a voltage rating of 230 volts all right so let us now turn on our supply and check whether these light bulbs light up or not and let us also check as to how much power are they consuming at when they are giving us supply of 230 volts So as you can see here in the voltmeter that I have given two, approximately 230 volts of supply to these three bulbs meaning that they are getting 230 volts of voltage across them. Okay, So this multimeter has been connected across the supply which gives me as to how much voltage I have given to the load. So as you can clearly see there's these loads have light up and they are consuming some power now let us check as to how much power they are so to know as to how much power is being delivered to this load we'll have to take the reading of our watt meter so i can clearly see that my pointer is in between 70 and 80 watts so I'll say that the reading here is approximately 75 
watts so now the question arises the bulbs are rated as 300 watt but the reading shown here is only 75 watts so to calculate the accurate reading of the watt meter or you can say as to how much power has been delivered to the load we'll have to multiply the reading indicated by the pointer with a constant k fine so what is the need of multiplying this constant k with the reading of multimeter or you can say the reading of your instrument which is your watt meter here because our watt meter has the option of various voltage ranges and various current ranges so we need to cal calibrate our watt meter according to our own requirements so we have used approximately you can say 300 volts option and we are utilizing a current set of 10 amperes so for that we need to calculate the watt meter constant so watt meter constant can be easily calculated with the help of this formula nowadays all the manufacturer already show their watt meter constant on the back panel of the watt meter but if it is not given you can easily calculate with the help of this formula whereas V range is your range of terminal V which we are using so you can see here in the watt meter that we are given option of 150 volt 300 volts and 600 volts depending upon the requirement of the circuit so we have utilized 300 volt terminal here all right and for I range which range we have utilized we have utilized our 10 ampere range according to the connection of these four terminals see B1 is connected to E2 and B2 is connected to E1 which means that we are measuring or we are utilizing the 10 ampere range into what into the power factor in watt meter so we have already discussed that the power factor here is unity all right and lastly we'll divide it with the full scale reading of the watt meter so for the full scale reading of the watt meter we'll again see the watt meter the full scale reading of watt meter here is 750 watts all right and this is this 1.0 indicates that this is a unity power factor meter so i'll divide it with the full scale reading which is 750 watts and it would give me approximately 4 meaning that your watt meter constant here is 4 so the actual watt meter reading would be the value indicated by the pointer which was 75 into the meter constant which is approximately 300 watts all right meaning that there were 300 watt bulbs and in total they have been given 300 watts of power.